as we take a look at tonight's starting lineups presented by Geico. Reed and Mitchell, the two transfers, have done a lot of damage in their Clemson career. But both these coaches with the emphasis on getting the ball inside the paint. Three Cornhuskers averaging over 14 per. Thomas with the left hand and a strong finish at the rack. Team team really challenged Kansas. The chance to get to the Elite Eight came up just short. Nice pass down low for Thomas. And our second half starts off the same way the first began. Mids. High ball screen for Watson. Skip pass to Allen. Six on the shot clock. And the alley-oop. Copeland with 12. He was ready and waiting. Cool timer against Mitchell. And you see Watson getting into the lane. Allen does a great job attacking, but then recognizing Copeland on the backside. And Copeland, of course, with the athletic ability to be able to go vertically and just go up. That was a spectacular move, and you show his ability off the dribble. One of the reasons why he's on a number of NBA draft boards. Thomas inside, outstanding position. Over the flush! Up with the rebound, the ability to handle the ball, and of course, the silky smooth move for the finish at the rim in Nebraska. Out of the timeout. Thomas turns it over, three on one. The dump off to Copeland. Unselfish play by Nebraska. James Palmer, instead of trying to keep it himself, scores it. And then, of course, Watson with the drop back for Copeland. The big three of Nebraska operating perfectly on the fast break. Joe directing traffic, pinned at the rack. Nebraska controls, and what an exchange that was. Palmer. And it turns into an easy highlight level slam for James. Tigers have to hurry. Mitchell. The stick back, one second remaining, and Brad Bardell will call his final timeout. The inbound to Watson, and that'll do it. Tim Miles, a huge win on the road in round one.